In this video, we're going to look at how to use the Windows Forms Designer in Visual Studio using PowerShell Pro Tools for Visual Studio. So when you uh, first open Visual Studio, you're going to have this option to uh, create a new project or open a local folder, open a project. What I'm actually going to do is create a new project. We do not support uh, local folders for um, form designers. So to do that, I'm going to click Create New Project. It's going to show me the different um, kind of templates I have available for projects. I'm going to select the Windows Forms project. Click Next. From here, I can uh, name my project. I'm just going to name it My Windows Form. And I'm going to click Create. So now this has created a solution um, called My Windows Form, and I have a form project called My Windows Form. Additionally, I have a form called My Windows Form.ps1. If I double click that, it's going to open the Windows Form Designer um, here. Uh, in the bottom right, you'll see there's a Properties window. Um, and inside that Properties window, we also have an Events tab. So let's actually add a component to our window. I am going to add a button to the bottom of this window. And I will just put it there. Um, I am going to change the text to Click Me. Um, and then I am going to change the name of this component uh, to button click and I will save that. So what that actually does is it actually updates this designer.ps1 file that you can see is currently uh, being um, included underneath my Windows form.ps1 and this contains all the PowerShell script to actually create this form. So you can see here's my button click that I just added. We've set up our location, our size, and our name. And if I actually go over to uh, my Windows form, you're going to see that it's loading that designer file and then calling uh, show dialog. So if I press F5 or click start up here, it's going to pop up my Windows form. You can see it has this button on it that doesn't do anything yet. So now let's actually uh, add some interaction to our form. So I'm going to click this button. And then in the properties dialog down here, I'm actually going to go to the events tab. On the events tab, you have all the events that are uh, possible with this particular component. Um, in this case, I'm going to add a click event. So we'll just call that click. And then I'm going to hit enter. So what that does is it actually updates both the designer and the um, form. So in the designer, we've added this add click event handler. And in the form code, we've actually added a script block um, variable that contains the event that's going to happen um, when the button is clicked. So I will do system.windows.forms.messagebox and we're going to just do show um, and I'll just say hello. So let's save that and run it now. Now when I run it and I click my button, you can see that a message box is being shown. Let's also look at how to update components uh, inside your form. So when we have our form set up here, you can see that we're actually creating variables for uh, individual components. So I have this button click variable and my form variable. So what I'm going to actually do is inside this uh, click event handler, I am going to reference button click. And then I am going to set the text of that button to ouch. So when I click this, it's going to show a message box. Once I click OK on the message box, it's going to change the text of the button to ouch. So let's start this up. And now when I click it, you can see that uh, the message box pops up. I click OK. And now ouch has actually um, run or updated as the text for the button. So there are all kinds of components that you can actually add to your Windows Forms. Um, on the left hand side in this toolbox view, you can see here's all the different Windows Forms that we support. Um, and you can just drag and drop them onto um, your Windows Designer. Additionally, uh, we also support packaging these Forms applications as uh, executables that you can then distribute as a single file to um, your end users to create tools that are useful built on PowerShell scripts. So in this video, we looked at how to use the PowerShell Pro Tools um, Windows Form Designer inside Visual Studio.